percussion family is an incredibly diverse spread of instruments all brought together by the common characteristic that their sound is produced by the instrument being hit in some way. And so in this video I'm going to give you a beginner's 101 to some of the key elements of percussion instruments. The members of the percussion family are broadly divided into two groups. On the one hand we have tuned percussion instruments and on the two hand we have untuned percussion instruments. Tuned percussion instruments are those instruments uh, whose sound is identifiable as producing a specific pitch or note uh, and instruments that fall into that category are things like the xylophone, the marimba, the glock uh, and so forth. Whereas the sound that an untuned percussion instrument makes either uh, does not create an identifiable pitch such as cymbals and things like that or the sound is more useful as a, as a rhythmic effect rather than having some sort of melodic contribution such as maracas and drums and wood blocks and things like that. But because of how loose this definition of what a percussion instrument is, there are some instruments that are in other families that you could almost think of as being a percussion instrument. Take the clarinet for instance, the runt of the woodwind family. It makes a glorious sound when it is hit very, very hard by a metallic object. Yet, because it has a reed, it is considered not a percussion instrument, but a woodwind instrument. I have with me tonight two different percussion instruments that I am going to demonstrate and uh, use as examples of characteristics of the percussion family. And the first is this simple drum. This is a bass drum, it comes in various other sizes. Uh, it has a very simple construction um, and you will often see drum players or drumists using these uh, instruments in an array of different sizes such as what you'll see in this photograph here. Whilst these drums do tend to create different pitches, they have absolutely nothing to contribute melodically and so the rhythm of these being struck repeatedly is what provides their musical value. And the second instrument that I have to show you is this timpani. These timpanis, like drums, are often played in a set. You'll have typically up to four timpani arranged around the player who will then beat them with a stick, Chris Brown style. Timpani are considered tuned percussion unlike the drums because they produce an identifiable pitch that can in certain situations blend well with other pitched instruments. Now this particular timpani is a fairly cheap one and it has to be tuned manually by twisting these knobs. More expensive timpani like this one up here has levers which can be used to change the note that the timpani produces. There are many ways in which a percussion instrument can make it sound. Percussionists often will use their hands, but other times they will have other implements that they will use. Common among these are drumsticks, brushes, mallets, and beaters. And each of these utensils will provide a different type of tone. One characteristic of percussionists themselves, even in the professional levels, is that unlike real musicians who tend to focus on just a single instrument at once, the percussionist will learn themselves and develop skills across a wide range of different instruments. But even so, percussionists aren't normally referred to as real musicians, as a lot of percussion instruments are simply mere toys that they haven't grown out of yet. Medically speaking, the desire to be a percussionist is uh, internationally recognised as being caused by a mutation in a person's DNA. Now this mutation can also cause a number of other quite common side effects such as uh, the inability to read normal sheet music, uh, an inability to know when to shut up, and a certain attraction to fart jokes. 
So anyway, I hope you have learnt something useful from this uh, rather brief video on percussion instruments and their players. Uh, if you're interested in seeing some of my other thoughts about various musical families, then please be sure to check out other videos that I have released on the 1st of April. And thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.